Hi, I want to show you how to set up a window beside a window. One where the teacher speaks or any other type of meeting where someone's speaking and the other window has an interpreter who's just simply interpreting. Also, captions are going to be included in the bottom. All three things are included. I'm going to show you how. The first thing you need to do is you need to type in meet dot google dot com so meet dot google dot com and here the page is loaded now I need to join or start a meeting so now I need to name the meeting I'm calling it whatever tutorial or tutorial instruction meeting. And so this is what you see. So now you're seeing two of me. This is a meeting. I'm sorry it's confusing because of the two windows. But anyway, so this is the meeting space essentially, but I haven't joined the meeting yet. So now I need to click join. And that way I can join the meeting. So now I'm joining the meeting. Now I need to invite other people to join the meeting as well. It's important to consider that you can have two or three or even more people, but it's best if you have, well, if you have two people, that's good. But if you have three, it's even better. The reason why is we have one person speaking, one person interpreting, and that third person can actually record the screen and watch and make sure the captions are working okay. okay that the interpreter is showing up okay on the screen and it seems to be that that's really best for recording these. So I click add people. Then now I need to add whoever I'm going to add to this meeting. So now I type in their names and invite them to join. And I send it to them. And now I just wait. Sometimes the person on the other end has to actually download the um, Google Meet or Meets. No Meet. <laughs> but I'm just waiting. <laughs> So now you can see that the first person has joined. Hi there. And now we're waiting for Susie. And now you can see that Susie has joined the meeting as well. Hi. Hi there. So now I'm going to switch and have Susie take over the screen recording and start recording now. So now the way the screen looks is that Casey is the teacher and she'll start speaking and I'll simply interpret. All right, today I want us to do a neat activity that um, my sister who teaches fourth grade does every morning with her students called Tell Me Something Good. So I'll start and I'll share something good that's happening over here, even though we're stuck inside but the other day I was sitting on the front porch with my baby and my dogs and I was doing some work and the Amazon truck driver got out of his truck to bring us a package. And as soon as he got out of his truck, he started talking to my dogs. He could see them on the balcony and he was telling them how beautiful they were and that he remembered them from a time that he came before and he was so excited and so happy, even though he had to be out working in this 
scary time where people don't want to be out working. And he climbed all the stairs up to my house because I, I live up a lot of stairs. And he climbed all the way up and he was happy the whole time and then talked to me about the dogs and asked me questions about them and checked on us and made sure we had enough of everything we needed in the house. And I just thought it was so nice and it made my day, it made me so happy. So that is my something good. Great. So now you understand how this works where the teacher speaks and I as the interpreter am interpreting. And if you notice the captions, we have those going at the same time and it's just captioning everything we say. So truly that's it. That's all that this is doing and we're trying to show here. This is Google Meet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and use it. So now the meeting is over and each of the participants have left and I'm still here on screen. One thing that I noticed that I forgot to let you guys know, when we start the meeting, it's important to turn on the captions. Let me show you where, right down here. If you turn them off, the screen gets bigger, but you have no captions. So turn on the captions. And you see the black box now on the bottom for the captions to show up in. It is really important for you to let the person who is speaking know that it's important that they pause in between sentences. If they don't and they keep speaking or they keep saying and, 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 it'll be a run-on sentence with no punctuation, no period. So we need them to speak appropriately and clearly. If they're not speaking clearly, the captions are going to mess up. This is amazing captioning software but you have to speak clearly. Thank you. I hope this has been helpful to you. And I hope that you're able to use this. Thank you, have a wonderful day.